Hello everybody, this is teacher Tracy again. I'm here to take you through the work that we did last time and I want everyone to be active, don't allow anyone to distract you, sit and let us do something. Now, I know everyone did the work very well. Now, open your book, um, get your pencil and let us go through the work that we learned last time. But before we do that, I want us to sing a nice song. This song is in our local language. It is going to be in Luganda. Next time we shall sing a different version, but today we are going to sing in Luganda. It's very nice just to bring us in class. One, two, three, we go. Are we ready? Yes, we go. Ana manyo kubala yenze baba la bati. Ana manyo kubala yenze baba la bati. Ana manyo kusom yenze basoma bati. Ana manyo kusom yenze basoma bati. Bana matula tusome o kubala bati. Now everybody sit, uh, get your book and pencil. Let us go through our work. Our number one was five plus three. So I know that you already did this work. So what do we do? We are going to look at the first number, which is five, and we are using the balls. So we go, we have one, two, three, four, five. So after drawing your balls there, go to the next number, which is three. We go, one, two, three. Let us put them together. Remember, I told you that in addition, we are putting things together. So let us count our balls together. Everybody count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our answer was eight. I know everybody got eight for that first number. So we go to our number two. Our number two was four plus six. So when we have this number, four plus six, we are going to look at the first number and then we draw balls. You can draw balls, you can draw sticks. But in mind, keep in mind that we are putting things together. So let us add Sorry. We have one, two, three, four. The next number we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Put them together. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So our answer was ten. Uh, you're going to pat your shoulders because I know that you got 10. Everybody do this. Uh huh. You're a strong boy, our girl. So we go to the next number. Our next number is. We have to be fast. We had 9 plus 2. So I told you that this is the vertical arrangement. Look at the numbers and then draw balls. You can use balls, you can use sticks. So we go. Our first number is nine. Everybody, let us draw the nine sticks. We go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The next number is two. We go. One, two. Put them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then you write eleven in the equal signs. So after that, we had, please let us try to be fast. We had eight plus four. Again, we are going to use our balls. Please. Don't leave the balls. Nobody is going to blame you that you're using balls. When we use the balls, we don't go wrong. And 
make sure that you count all your balls that you have drawn. So let us draw balls for the first number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Has everybody drawn the eight balls? Yes. Then we go to the next number, which is four. Um, one, two, three, four. Wonderful. Let us put our balls together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So our answer was twelve. I know everybody was twelve. Your bright children, I know that. Then our next number, our next number was seven plus five. Are we there, people? Yes, I have a bright class. So what are we going to do? Look at the numbers closely and make sure that you have read the number. Do not rush. Then let us draw balls for number seven. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we draw balls for the next number, which is five. We go one, two, three, four, five. Put them together. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wonderful. So we write strong in the equal sides. Try to be neat in your book. Don't cross, cross. Then the last one. I told you we also read. We had a number where we had to read. It was Daniela had six dresses. I'm not going to write the question again. Rita had three dresses. So what are you going to do? You look at the numbers in the sentence. So the first one was for Rita who had six dresses. You write six dresses. And then Rita had three dresses. The six dresses were for Daniela. The three dresses were for Rita. So after organizing your work like that, write the plus sign and then the equal sign. You have to put in mind that you're adding dresses. So we go. So this time round, what are we going to use? We are going to use the sticks. The first number is six. So let us draw six sticks. We go one, two, three, four, five, six. The second number is three. So we draw three sticks. We go one, two, three. So after drawing your sticks, don't forget to put them together. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you write nine, and after writing nine, don't forget that you are adding dresses. So, after that, I want you to write a very nice sentence. These are two girls. You're going to say, there are four, this sign means there are four. Okay? They have nine dresses all together so that was our exercise i know everybody got the numbers correct you're so bright let us clap for ourselves for you thank god that you did very nice work so now i want you to close your book Settle in, uh, be attentive, we are going to learn something new. Now, 
after the corrections, I want us to learn something new. We are going to add, we are going to learn adding numbers using a number line. We are going to be adding numbers but using a number line. How does a number line look like? I'm going to draw our number line. So, when you're, draw, when you're drawing your number line, you use a ruler. So first, our number one, example number one, we are going to add two plus three. This time we are not going to draw balls, we are not going to draw sticks. What are we going to do? We are going to add this number on a number line. So, I am drawing my number line And please, when you're drawing your number line, don't use your free hands. You see me, I have a ruler. So, after that, you're going to put an arrow here. So, a number line runs from zero. It goes up to a hundred. You can go up to one thousand, whatever you want. But for our case, we are going to add on a number line up to number 10. So our number line is running from 0. Please let us put numbers on a number line together. After 0, we go to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, We are going to take the steps. We go, we can count with me. This is one, two, and three. Our third step is here. So you mark, you put a star where the three steps end, and then you circle the number down. Where the three steps stop, that is going to be our answer. So we get five as our answer. You can even probe. Get two fingers and three fingers. Try to put them together. One, two, three, four, five. Is it the same as the answer that we've got? Yes. So we have added two plus three using a number line and we have not drawn balls. Please everyone be attentive. 
So we go to example number two. So our second example is going to be four plus five. So we are going to draw our number line again. Please, when you're drawing your number line, you should use a ruler. So ask mommy or daddy to buy for you a ruler or to get for you a ruler. We say that a number line runs from zero up to any number that you want. So we start to put numbers on our number line. Um, this is zero. Let us put the numbers together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have stopped on ten, but it can go up to one thousand, one hundred. So, what numbers are we adding using a number line? We have four plus five. Are we together, my dear friends? Yes. So, let us add four plus five on the number line. You're again going to get your ruler. I know you have all those, these things, please. So, we take the first number tells us to move without stopping until when we reach the number. So, we are going to move from zero up to our first number, which is four. Very good. So, we go. So we move from zero and then we take a walk without stopping till when we come to four. When you reach four, please mark, put a star, tell somebody that you have stopped. Then after stopping, you have not reached where you're going. You go back to the question, look at number five. So, after resting at four, we are going to take how many steps? Five steps. Everybody, let us move the five steps together. Uh -huh. We go. One, two, three, four, five. Mark, we put a star where we have stopped and then we circle the number down. The number down is nine. So that becomes our answer. Is that clear to everyone? So that is adding using a number line. Now, I am going to give you numbers for trying. That is how we add using a number line. A number line, you get your ruler, draw the number line, put your numbers. They are going to stop up to 10. Are we together, people? Then, the first, you look at the first number. You move, the first number is telling you to move without stopping. So, you put your ruler at zero and move up to the first number, which is four. When you reach here, please mark, put a star. Choose someone that you have stopped a bit. You have not reached, remember. Then, go back to number five, because we are adding five to four. The second number tells us to move in steps. So we take the steps. One, two, three, four, five. Where the five stops stop, you're going to mark, but then you circle the number down. That becomes our answer. We can even prove it. You can prove it by adding, but don't show it here. Don't draw balls. Uh, we have our fingers. Take four fingers, five fingers. Put them together. Let us see if we shall get nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
which is the same as nine. So we have learned how to you how to add using a number line. So I want to put some work that you're going to try. Right. So before the activity that I'm going to give you, I want us to go ahead and look at subtraction of numbers using a number line. Then after, we shall do our activity where we have addition and subtraction. These are very simple things. So, we go, we have... Subtracting numbers using a number line. So, we are going to subtract using a number line. Our sign for subtraction, when they say subtract, This is going to be the sign. The sign tells us to take away from what you have. Give away. Is that clear to everyone? Wonderful. We are going to do some activities, but this is going to be our sign. So, in our example, number one about subtraction, we have six. Take away two. So, what is six take away two on a number line? I told you that here we are not going to involve any boys. We are just using the number line. So, I am going to get my ruler and I draw the number line. When you're drawing the number line such that it is straight. Uh -huh. So we say that it begins from zero. So let us put numbers on the number line. We go, we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. We have put our numbers on the number line. But this time, it is a takeaway sign. We are taking away. Again, we look at the first number. And this first number <coughs> is telling us to move on the number line 6 up to number 6 without stopping. So, we are going to get our ruler, okay? It has to be a little bit up. Um, so, we are going to move from zero. We go up to number six, there. This time, draw it a little bit higher. So, you're going to indicate why you have stopped. This is our number six. So we have moved from zero up to number six. What are we going to do? They are telling us to take away. So when we reach number six, someone is telling us to go backwards two steps. Are we together? With subtraction, we shall go backwards. So we come on six here. We take our two steps backwards. So we go. This is one and two. So we stop here. We circle the number where we have stopped. So that becomes our answer. Are we together, people? With subtraction, we move straight, but then we go backwards. Don't go down because we cannot go under the number line. You just turn and take two steps backwards. We go one and two. You stop there. You mark and then circle the number down. So four becomes our answer. Let us take another 
example. Right. Our second example, we've got eight, take away six. So, we are going to get our ruler. Please, when you're drawing the number line, use a ruler. If you can't, I know there is someone there near you, could be mommy, daddy, auntie, your big sister. Let them help you to draw the number line for the first time. Then you also learn. And when you're drawing the number line, you get you look in your book. The line that you're drawing should pass through the line in the book. Okay? Don't draw it in the space, just in the line. So we draw our number line. That is our number line. We start to put the numbers. We go. This is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Has everyone put numbers on the number line? Yes. And please, when you're writing these numbers on the number line, don't squeeze them. Don't write them on each other. Leave a small space. Leave some space there, such that when you start to mark your number line, your work looks neat. So, you are going to bring your ruler. It has to be a bit higher, higher or up, because you have to take steps backwards. Uh -huh. So we are going to begin from zero, we go up to eight, without stopping. So when you reach eight, you will go down, mark where eight is. You have taken a rest there, you rest at eight, but remember you haven't finished, you haven't completed your journey. But what are you going to do? They told you to move eight steps. But when you reach the eight, they tell you, no, come back, backward six steps. So, you're going to come here on eight and go backwards six steps. We go. One, two, three, four, five, six. You stop there. You mark, circle the number down. That becomes our answer. Isn't it easy? Very easy and fun to move on a number line. So we have subtracted eight take away six on a number line and it is giving us two as our answer. Is that clear to everybody? Now I want you to do for me a simple activity about addition on a number line and then subtracting numbers on a number line. This is going to be our work. Um, this is our activity. We are going to add the numbers using a number line. So our first number we are adding is 2 plus 6. Please don't draw balls. Use the number line to add. Look at the first number. Move without stopping up to that number. Then the second number tells you to move in steps. You move six steps. Where it stops, mark, circle the number. That becomes your answer. The next one is four plus three. Take your ruler, draw the number line, and then indicate. Then we go to number three. Number three, we are subtracting using a number line. We, start, we are subtracting these numbers here using the number line. In subtraction, remember to take the steps backwards. The first number, you move without stopping up to that number. The second number is asking you, come backwards three steps. So, you have nine, take away three. I know you're going to do it very well. With then B is eight. Take away four. So you're going to do this work in your books. When we meet next time, we shall go through and then learn about something else. Thank you for being good children. Thank
Thank you for loving learning. I know you're so wonderful. And we are future leaders. We have to make a difference. Do this work neatly. I know you're going to make it. Thank you for attending my lesson. Please be there next time.